Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. Today, we're in Week 13 versus Southern Miss. 4-6 and six Southern Miss, where 6-4 and four became bowl eligible last week, and guess what? More recruits in attendance here today against Southern Miss. We actually finished the year with three home games. We just played FIU. If you missed that episode, make sure you go check it out. It was a fun one. Today, we play Southern Miss with Astro Harrod, questionable to return, but like I said... Last episode, it is Randall Johnson's team right now. Even though he struggled last week, he still played phenomenal all year long in the absence of O'Hara, and he's probably taken over as a long-term quarterback, even though I think he's a junior, so obviously just another year. But it should be a lot of fun here today. You see the standings. We are definitely on the more difficult side of the standings. FIU is the worst team in here. We just played them in a really close game. And you see the other side, the top team, Louisiana Tech, is 6-4, and four, as we've got Western Kentucky, Florida Atlantic, Old Dominion, and then us at 6-4 and four is in fourth place and 4-2 and two in the conference. So we're here today looking for another victory against Southern Miss. A couple of recruits in attendance again. Two defensive ends. We know we need to improve on the defensive line. We're losing a few guys there. So trying to get another win for that sake and got to improve that bowl game, get these guys a big chance to play in a big game against a tough opponent. Right away, though, we face a third and seven, so we're getting tested. We're going to throw over the middle, and Randall Johnson is picking up right where he left off in the second half of the last game where he made some big-time throws. But going to miss a man over here in the middle. It's going to be incomplete. Was on target. A little bit of a risky throw, putting his receiver in a bad position. It's going to be second and 10 there. There's Mobley with a four-yard rush. It's third and six for Johnson. Drop it back. He's looking. Pressure's coming. He's hit as he throws. It's going to be a fourth and six. So they're going to go forward or punt it. Last, last week, we saw for a lot of field goals. This week, we're going forward on fourth and six. Johnson dropping back. He's going to throw over the middle. Finds Mobley, who gets just enough six yards in a first. First and 10, it's going to be Johnson throwing right side. A nice pass to Wyndham. Gets around the man. Stiff arms. Touchdown, C.J. Wyndham. 33 yards. Randall Johnson found him. A nice completion. Wyndham did the rest. Big time touchdown. Good throw as the pressure came. A nice little sort of spiral there. Gets away from a man. Then stiff arms his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. 7-0 early. Already better than last week in the first half. It's going to be Anderson in this run game, picking up 18 yards on first down. Now first and 10, Anderson, he's going to get a lot of carries here today. He's going to pick up five up the middle at second and five. Now going to fake this one, throw it left side on a little bubble screen to Mitchell. Mitchell picks up four, sets up a third and one. Hand this one off to Anderson. Anderson's going to get this first once again. A nice pickup for Anderson already, three carries and some good gains. It's going to be second and seven now. It's going to be Abraham. Abraham, the QB, thrown over the middle. He's going to find Watkins. And look at Watkins' stats, 78 catches, 1232 yards and 13 touchdowns. He is actually the top receiving uh, top receiver in the league this year. I guess college football. I guess it's not really a league. Uh, I don't think they can actually even call that since nobody makes any money. But nonetheless, there's Abraham having a nice game there. Now on first and goal, they're inside the 10. Get a pitch this one out to Adams, but we read that one perfectly. Loss of four. Good job by the defense there. Third and goal, trying to keep, trying to get them to settle for a field goal. He's going to lob this one right side. And he goes up and gets it. Potoski, I'm not quite sure how you say his name. Doesn't matter. The tight end went up and got that one. You don't see that whole lot from the CPU, but we saw it right there. Abraham threw it up for grabs, and he just went up and got it. Desmond Anderson, our best defender, couldn't even make a play on the ball there. The only person that could have caught that was the tight end, and he did exactly that. So they tied up 7-7. Seven seven. Here trying not to go 3-0 and out early. Thankfully, Mobley fights forward for a nice gain. Uh, first and 10, it's Johnson up the middle. He's going to run the read option. He's going to pick up nine yards, a good run there. Second and one now going right back to the read option. And it's Randall Johnson again picking up a nice block, trying to get around the outside inside the 40. Picks up a 19-yard gain. It's first and 10. Johnson, play action. Throwing left side, he finds Dobson. Dobson trying to get him more involved because that speed is elite. Nine-yard gain. Second and one now, the pressure is going to come on Johnson. He's going to be sacked for a loss of six. Third and seven now for this offense, trying to convert. Johnson dropping back, throwing over the middle and missed his target badly. Fourth and seven, we're going for it. Johnson dropping back, throwing right side. What a dime by Randall Johnson. 24 yards to C.J. Wyndham. What a completion that one was. We saw that kind of throw last week to Ty Lee that came through clutch. And that was another one right there. Now third and eight from the 10. Going to dump this one down to Mobley who runs through two defenders. And he's into the end zone. What a run by Mobley after the catch. Just ran right through two guys. Made it look effortless. 
Big time play by Mobley and another pass touchdown to start this game. Southern Miss comes right back, though, 18-yard completion. They're giving their receivers a chance to lob that one up to Adams, and he made another play just like on the touchdown throw. It's 14-7. This offense is coming right back. Anderson, 16 yards. Now Abraham pressure coming. He's going to avoid this. Somehow gets it to Anderson, and that's a 16-yard completion and a first down. First and 10, a pump fake. Abraham throwing right side, and you don't want to throw at the man, Desmond Anderson. Interception. A very weird interception, but I'll take it either way. What an interception by Desmond Anderson. Just got to it before the receiver could. Just went and made a play. First and 10. Now the offense back on the field. Going to get this one to Ty Lee on the right side. He's going to break a couple of tackles. Almost breaks that one loose. 22-yard reception. First and 10 now. Mobley on the run out of the shotgun. He's going to pick up a gain of 7. It's second and three now. Hand this one off to Mobley. Mobley up the middle. Mobley's got a lot of room there. He gets towards midfield, 11-yard rush. First and 10 now. Play action. The running game's been going. Sets up this play action really well. Johnson scrambling right side. Throws this one deep. He's got his man, Jaron Pierce. We saw this same exact play work exactly the same a couple weeks ago, and it works once again. Randall Johnson lights out here to start this day, and he throws it deep. 21-7 Blue Raiders at the start of the second quarter. Wow, what a start for this offense. Much better than last week. It's first and 10 now. Anderson on the screen play. Southern Miss trying to come right back. Trying to get Watkins involved. The leading receiver in the NCAA hasn't had a whole lot of involvement here so far in this game. But we'll see what, what he can do for the rest of the game. It's going to be Anderson now in the handoff on the read option. He's going to pick up 12 yards right there in a the first. Second and nine going right back to Anderson. He's picking up another good game. They don't really need to throw the ball if they're running the ball like this. It's first and 10 now. Abraham pump faking. Looking, he's got some time throwing deep left side. Like I said, they just give the receivers a shot, and they come through a big gain there to Adams and a first down into the red zone. Now there's an eight-yard rush by Mosley, second and two. Abraham's going to keep this one. He's going to stiff arm his way forward, a first down. It's going to be first and goal now for Southern Miss. They're going to go right up the middle to Mosley, and they respond very well. Two-yard touchdown run and cut this right back to seven. Mosley goes down. They have really just letting the receivers get a shot. So far, it hasn't been Watkins, but Adams and the tight end have made some plays. Two by Adams, one by the tight end for the touchdown. Going to see if this offense can keep clicking, though, for the Blue Raiders. There's a 12-yard reception to C.J. Windham. First and 10, hand this one off to Mobley. Mobley with a nice gain out of shotgun run. That's a nine-yard pickup. It's going to be third and three now trying to convert here. Johnson on the play action. Pressure is coming. He's hit, and he's sacked. Can't keep things going this time on the offensive side of the ball. Good pressure right there by Torrance Brown in the sack. So here's Southern Miss with a chance to tie this one. It's going to be Johnson. Pitch this one to Adams. Adams with some room and some blocks on the right side. Pushed out of bounds, but a good pickup right there. Under three to play here in the first half. It's Abraham throwing over the middle. He's going to find his receiver, Tim Jones, 11 yards. Two and a half to play. It's going to be a handoff for Anderson. Just showboating with that little hurdle there. He picks up five, third and inches. Mitchell in motion. It's going to be a play fake. Abraham dropping back, throwing left side. Finds Mitchell, but Mitchell's going nowhere. Cody Smith is right there for a tackle for a loss. Fourth and two. Southern Miss stays on the field, but they try to just draw us off sides. Instead, their guard jumps. False start, and they'll punt it right back to us. 138 to play here, first to 10 for Johnson. He's going to drop back. He's got time. He's got a man open, deep left. He's open, Jaron Pierce. He dropped it, and it's intercepted. You have got to be kidding me. Randall Johnson is clearly upset with Jaron Pierce. That was not Johnson's fault. That could have been a huge 80-yard touchdown. Instead, it's dropped by Jaron Pierce. And Southern Miss has a chance to tie it before half once again. And they get a big play right away. Jordan Mitchell, 23 yards. First and 10 for Abraham now. In the shotgun. Throwing right side. He finds Jones. Jones is going to pick up nine. I still can't believe that interception. Second and one, Abraham. Throwing right side. Finds his receiver, Jones, once again. Haven't seen much for Watkins even on the field. I'm not quite sure what this game plan is from Southern Miss. But it doesn't matter as Abraham up the middle nine yards. Second and one now. They're going to hand this one off to Anderson. Anderson stiff bars, falls into the end zone, and picks up the touchdown right there. Steven Anderson ties this one back up at 21, under a minute to play here in the first half. So can the offense get things going again? Obviously the drop last time in the interception. Can the offense figure things out before the half? Four yards catch there for Zach Dobson. Third and six, it's Johnson dropping back, trying to convert here. Over the middle, finds his receiver, Pierce. Pierce is trying to make up for it, and he's just going to keep running to the right. A big gain inside the 30, 42 yards. That's much better, Jaron Pierce. First and 10 now, Johnson dropping back, throwing left side. 
That was a risky throw. Pierce catches it, fumbles. It's actually going to be overturned. 18-yard catch inside the 10. 16 seconds of play. First and goal. Johnson throwing to Mobley. Mobley, a little spin move into the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. That's twice Mobley has just made a play at the goal line. The first time uses just the strength and trucks to you guys. This time a little finesse on the spin move into the end zone. What a first half. 28-21. The offense is clicking. Randall Johnson had a phenomenal first half there. You can see in the passing game, 256 yards. Could have been a whole lot more if Jaron Pierce holds on to that one. 59 yards on the ground, 17 minutes of time of possession. We are killing it, but we're only up seven. That's a little worrisome, but here we are in the second half. Defense got to lock in a little bit better here, 28-21. It's a nine-yard rush for Abraham, but obviously the game plan went a lot into Watkins, and he only has that one catch so far today. There's a five-yard rush by Abraham now in second and six. He's going to scramble, break off one there. He's going to get somehow get around like four defenders, and Abraham picks up about four or five, sets up a third and two. That's going to go to Anderson here. He's going to run right side, gets the first down after a gain of four, taken down by Anderson. It's first and ten now. It's going to be a game. It's going to be a nice rush from Jack Ab Abraham. Excuse me, thirteen yard rush right there. Now first and ten. It's Watley. He actually Abraham got hurt there, and he's out for the rest of the game. I guess I almost forgot to mention that Watley with the nice run, but he fumbles and it's picked up by McLaurin. He's going to get that for a 23-yard gain. It's going to be Anderson running up the middle. They don't really need Watley for the rushing game because Anderson's taken over that, but he's going to be pushed back this time for a loss of three. It's third and six. Watley's going to have to make a play here now, but the rush comes right away. Loss of eight. Defense makes a play at the goal line. Malik Manseal It's going to make this a 28-24 ball game. Holds him to a field goal. Can the offense keep clicking? Second and four after a six-yard rush from Mobley. Wyndham in motion, screenplay set up, left side, Wyndham, nice gain there, gain of four in a first down. First and ten now for Johnson, it's a play action, Johnson over the middle finds Ty Lee, Ty Lee gets towards midfield, 13 yard catch. First and ten now, pump fake from Johnson, he's going to throw this one deep, it's been there all day and it's going to continue. CJ Wyndham, 44 yards, first down, First thing, goal, 317 yards for Johnson and the four touchdowns. He is playing great today. First and goal now. We're going to send Wyndham in motion. We just made the big catch. Going to fake this one to Mobley. Keep this one with Johnson. Johnson's going to get down to about the one or two-yard line, five-yard rush. Second and goal. Get this one to Mobley. Mobley's going to get into the end zone. His third touchdown of the day, two receiving, and now one rushing. Great day for Mobley. Great day for Johnson. And a great day for the offense. 35-24. Can the defense really get us a hold of this game? A great play on the outside, Desmond Anderson. What a tackle. That's how you wrap up, folks. That's how you, That's exactly how you play that right there. Third and 11. It's Watley throwing left side. Checking this one down to Anderson. Anderson's got a lot of guys in front of him. Picks up 10. He's short of the first, though. And they're going to punt this right back to us on a quick three and out. The way the offense has been playing, that's pretty dangerous. It's going to be a return from Ty Lee. We saw a big one last week. He's going to try to get another one here. Run it to the outside. Just likes to use that speed on the outside. Side gets past midfield, cuts it back, weaving in and out, down to the 40, 32 yard return. First and 10 for this offense. It's Johnson. This time he sacked, he fumbles. We pick it up though. Third and 18. Johnson dropping back, looking, checks this one down to France. Just going to take our losses here. Still up by 11. Didn't need to go long there, even though it's been there all day. Dalton France, five yard catch, will punt it. 35 24 still. Under a minute to play here in the third quarter. This time they have the triple option to work. It's Adams with a lot of room on the right side. He's going to pick up a big gain there of 27 yards. Second and four now going right back to the running game with Watley. He gets around the outside. He gets a nice gain of 10 and a first. First and 10, getting close to the end of the third quarter. It's Watley again throwing right side. Finds his man on the right side, Mitchell. Pick up of nine. Second and two now. It's Watley going to keep this one on the read option. He's going to pick up another first down into the red zone. It's second and seven now. Watley's going to hand this one off to Anderson. Anderson trying to get around the outside. Good pursuit. Only a gain of two. Third and four. Defense trying to get a stop. Watley looking. Pressure's coming. He's hit and he's sacked. Trey Philpott's there on the sack. Much needed sack. And it's going to hold them to a field goal. 35-27. Offense back on the field. And offense still clicking. Zach Dobson over the middle. Big gain. First and ten now. Get a look over the middle once again. Guess who? Zach Dobson. He probably breaks that all the way if his own receiver doesn't run into him. Could have broken that one. We'll take the pick up regardless. 
Third and three, a nice first down run there by Mobley. First and ten, pressure comes right away on the play action. A loss is six on the sack. Now sending Windham in motion, had the triple option set up, fake this one to Mobley, keeping this one with Johnson. Johnson gets away from man, pitches it to Windham. Windham around the outside. Windham dives into the end zone. Touchdown, C.J. Windham. That's a big-time play right there from the Blue Raiders offense. And, man, are they clicking here today. C.J. Windham on the triple option. Gets it pitched at the last second, probably possible. And we take a 42-27 lead. Great showing by the Blue Raiders today. Third and three. Going to send Adams in motion. It's going to be a fake. It's Watley. Third and three. He's sacked by Tyshawn Render. What a weird sack, but I'll take it. What an athletic play there by Render. Just flips over the halfback, and I mean, <laughs> what a play. Second and 12 now for Johnson in this offense. Had a man wide open deep fan in the tight end, but he settles to Ty Lee over the middle. 21-yard pickup. The offense is just still clicking. They have not really stopped all day long. Another nice run of 12. Third and seven, it's Johnson. Dropping back right side, Ty Lee. First down, gain of eight. Southern Miss calling their timeouts now, but it looks to be a little too late. Johnson, back of the end zone, fan in the tight end. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. 49-27, 413 yards and five touchdowns for Randall Johnson. How about that performance? We knew it was too early to just let Randall Johnson sit as a backup against Astro Hare as he's coming back. So he comes out and balls for five touchdowns, and the defense is not letting up a big-time sack from Render, and that's going to do it. Watkins ends with one catch, eight yards as the leading receiver in, in, in the NCAA. And this Blue Raiders offense went off today for 49 points. Randall Johnson, 23 for 28, 413 yards, five touchdowns. Could have been six, and he had five touchdowns in the pick. That shouldn't have happened. Jaron Pierce dropping it one in a crazy interception. So 49-27, we improved the 7-4 and four today. That was probably my favorite game of the year, just by the way the offense performed, especially last week, FIU. They kind of gave us some troubles, and we had to sell for a lot of field goals. It came from a big kick return that really got us a field goal after we went backwards after it. Some big punt returns put us in good position. But today, C.J. Windham, Jaron Pierce, Randall Johnson, we went off on offense. Moby with some big-time plays, three touchdowns for him. The defense, they struggled a little bit, but they're really locked down there in the second half. Is 28-21 at half, finished 49-27. That's a great job by the defense there. We get those two commits that did visit. Both defensive ends have committed to Middle Tennessee State. So all we got to do is get them on campus, coach. Just get them on campus. That's all it takes. Regular season finale, week 14 versus UTEP next time. I'll catch you guys that time. Peace.